Scientists at Rabart's Research Institute are combining helium gas and an MRI to provide a new way of looking into lungs on patients dealing with a particular strain of asthma. Scott Ross has the details. When people look to exercise, it's usually for the betterment of health. However, some people suffering from asthma tend to shy away from physical activity because it sometimes triggers an asthma attack and sometimes a shot of venolin just may not be enough. Robarts Research Institute in London has just announced a new research study involving exercise-induced asthma, the first in the world. What's unique about this is it uses the aid of an MRI, or a magnetic resistance imaging device, and helium-3, or hyperpolarized helium, to give researchers a new eye into your lungs. Here's how it works. The test study subject is put on a treadmill, bringing his or her breathing rate to the equivalent of physical activity. Next, the helium-3 is administered. Um, for us, a special kind of gas, uh, helium-3, which when it's inhaled into the lung, you can see with a very strong signal in the MRI. This is traditionally what an asthma patient would receive, an x-ray. This is a computer tomography of the chest, giving doctors a better idea of detecting disease. But one component is missing, and that's the inability to detect air exchange. And that's something that we're using the MR with the uh, helium to better assess. Dr. David McCormick says, yes, this testing is geared to exercise-induced asthma because it's the easiest to control while testing. However, it may lead to findings to all types of this disease. And this kind of technique using MRI will hopefully allow us to better categorize the kinds of changes that occur in asthma and therefore use this information later to plan new uh, responses to treatment. If you're between the ages of 18 and 55 and you think you may have exercise-induced asthma, you can be part of a medical research study testing the usefulness of a new inhaled contrast agent to image the lungs. For more information, call the hospital at 663-5777. At the Robarts Research Institute, Scott Ross, First Local.